Hello, in today's video we will be talking about the new ride at Alton Towers Resort for 2023 and that is the curse at Alton Manor. So, roll titles! <laughs> Yes, that's right. Today is Tuesday the 14th of February or Valentine's Day. So happy Valentine's Day to all of you, especially those of you who have joined the channel. Now this is a really exciting day and I'll get into that in a little bit. But yeah, this video is about the curse at Alton Manor. And that is basically a revamp of Jewel at Alton Towers. Now for those of you who are about my age as well, you'll probably remember that Jewel used to be the Haunted House. So the Haunted House opened in 1992, and then it was converted into Jewel in 2003, and they added the shooty laser guns. Then in 2022, around about September, I think, Jewel closed and the house was repossessed. There's been a lot of discussion and wondering about what's going on inside Jewel slash the Haunted House, and Alton Towers recently re revealed that it will be coming back as the curse at Alton Manor. And uh, someone who seems to be sort of fairly pivotal in it all is Emily Alton. And if you went on the Haunted House or Jewel, you might remember in the queue line, there was a doll's house with a girl playing inside it, a little tiny girl. And uh, that is Emily Alton. And it seems she is back and uh, she wants her house back. Alton Towers have created this gorgeous artwork for it. I'll put it up on the screen. It really gives me the feel of like a 80s horror film. It looks amazing. I really, really love the artwork they produce for it. And it gives you a few little ideas as to what we might see inside the curse at Alton Manor. <laughs> but it looks like it's going to be a creepy ass house. There's not masses known about what's going on in there and how it's going to be. I imagine they'll be using the same Mac ride system that they've used for both the Haunted House and Jewel. I believe all the laser guns and shooting has been ripped out, so it will be more like a traditional Haunted House, which is excellent. And there's also been discussion of fusing old technology and new technology to sort of create some scares, which I think is really good. Hopefully there'll be some old school Peppers ghosts effects and jump scares and things like that. And they won't rely too heavily on sort of video projection and other th sort of technology like that because ultimately the sort of technology side of it can date quite quickly. So yeah, I'm interested to see what they use and how it's all set up and um, Hopefully the curse at Alton Manor will mean that the haunted house continues to stay at Alton Towers for another 30 years. So it's going to be quite exciting. I do love dark rides. We don't have enough of them in the UK. We don't have enough good ones in the UK because I was really lucky to ride through the haunted house in its opening year and it was incredible. And I even managed to get to see the ghost effect that was disabled after the first year of operation where there was a flying ghost down one of the corridors and he sort of crashed into the end. And that was, that was very, very rare, and not many people saw that. So I remember the haunted house very vividly as it was. And if they can make the curse at Alton Manor anything like that, then I think we're in for a treat. Now today is a special day because a few days ago, I received an email in my inbox asking if I was available tonight and wanted to get to know a little bit more about the curse at Alton Manor. And of course, I said yes straight away. A day or so later, I received this email. Well, let's uh, put it up on the screen for you. Hi Kip, we're delighted you're coming to play at our giant haunted doll's house. As promised, we wanted to get in touch to reveal a little more information on the pop-up experience. The giant haunted doll's house is brought to you by Alton Towers Resort to celebrate the launch of the theme park's new upcoming dark ride, The Curse at Alton Manor. The experience is pop-up and designed to hint at what's to come with The Curse of Alton Manor. It is not a replica of the ride itself. Attach this email, you'll find the location details so you can start planning your journey. The doll house will be available from viewing. 
from 8 p.m. until 10 p.m. tonight. Please note the pop-up is not recommended for young children, anyone who, who is pregnant or suffers with epilepsy. We look forward to giving you a creepy welcome. And as promised, they had an attachment with some details. And I'll be completely honest, the details were quite sparse. So let me put it up on screen for you. So there we go, we've got that artwork that I was talking about and a rather ominous sounding come play with me. And uh, we've actually got a what three words location, which is tennis, stay and flesh. Yikes. And uh, yeah, it's got today's date on it. Tuesday the 14th of February from 8 p.m. Now, if you don't know what what three words is, basically it's an app and website that they have divided the entire world up into sort of squares of almost a meter by a meter. And each square has got three words associated to it. And you can go into the app or the website, type in those three words, and it will take you to a very, very precise spot. It's incredible. But enough about that, you probably know what it is. So uh, yeah, those are what three words, tennis, stay and flesh, lead us to somewhere in London, and it's in the sort of Docklands area of London, and it's a big field uh, around an area called Mud Shoots. Um, I've not been to Mud Shoots, but I know roughly where it is. So tonight at 8 p.m., me and indeed you guys are gonna come with me and uh, we will see exactly what's going on down near Mud Shoots in Docklands. And I'm a little apprehensive for at least because it feels like it's gonna be slightly scare maze experience maybe. I haven't done any out and about vlogging for a very long time, so I'm a bit rusty at it. So uh, bear with me. So yeah, I need to get changed, look a little bit more presentable, uh, pack up my gear, head off to London. So uh, yeah, what we'll do is we'll go to me in London and we'll see what's going on. So uh, see you in a second. So if you've not twigged what's going on here, we're uh, walking through some sort of field in London, following some arrows and it's very, very dark. I'm filming on my phone at the moment, so apologies for the quality. But yeah, there's lots of these white arrows I can see some lights in front though. Is that where we're going? I hope so. So is it up here then, I guess? Okay, so uh, I think we're nearly there. It is very, very creepy out here. It is literally pitch black. I mean, that's, that's it. You can just see some dimly lit enthusiasts behind me. I don't really know what to expect. Holy shit, look at it. Um, I think this is where we're heading. So ominous. Right, let's go find it. Quite interesting the difference between the city and a scary old house. So uh, we've been handed this, which is um, pretty creepy. What does it say? Roses are blue, violets are red. I want to play and I want to play with you. Ooh. Okay, so I'm about to go in, apparently, there's clues about the ride and what things to expect in the house. Now, I'm not very good at spotting things like that, so I'll try and film as much as I can. And if you spot anything, then please do put it in the comments and, you know, we might find out a few bits and pieces. Anyway, let's go in. <laughs> okay. That's, um... Oh, no. 
no. <laughs> This is scary. Uh, through the fireplace. and loads of clues in here so you've got to pay attention oh god <laughs> You're right. <laughs> yep. I look. What does it mean? I'm going to go through again and see if I've missed any. <laughs> this guy looks fucking scary. I'll do that again. <laughs> Lift up the thing. Lift up the thing? The, that right there. What thing? The cloche. The cloche? I don't want to lift up the cloche. That's fine by me. Creepy ass teddies. Knobhead. <laughs> Apparently, somewhere up there, there's an H. Now, I did spot some other letters around the ride, but there's definitely an H up there. I'm, I'm just going to stop proceedings right here because I've been thinking. So, I think the letters and numbers spell March 18. That was, that was my muse as I was walking to the DLR. So maybe it means the ride's opening then. I mean, obviously, it's probably out by now, by the time you're watching this. But you know, I don't want to look completely useless. Anyway, let's go back to Kip, who's about to do the outro. So uh, yeah, go see him. Okay, well, that is it from here tonight. 
I'm gonna go home now and edit this video. And apparently in the morning, there's gonna be a big announcement. So uh, there'll probably be another video not long after this one. So I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you spotted some interesting things, uh, but yeah. That's it for now, so thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, but for now, it's game over.